My name is Ray McClellan and I'm the University of Carolina here at Michigan State University. And the way the Carolina works is um, there's 49 bells and all the bells can be played with the hands and some of the bells can play, be played with the feet. But when I play a key here with my closed fist, pretty much is how you play it, you play it like this. Um, but when I play a key, the, the wires go all the way up there in, into the bell chamber and they pull the clapper to the bell. And so when, it's, when I strike it like this, like soft, like on a piano, and then you can strike it loud. And so it's very similar to a piano in that it's a percussive instrument. This is the, the original heavy metal music. And so the big bell is, weighs two and a half tons. And the smallest bell is 15 pounds. So there's a big wide range of difference in the bells. The bells don't move. It's the clapper inside the bells that move. And so when I play a key, you'll see the wires move and that goes right to the clapper. Well, basically the carillon uh, developed in the northern Europe in um, uh, Belgium, France, and uh, the Netherlands back in the 15th and 16th centuries. The, the way it developed is that they had towers with, with bells. Those bells were used for telling time and also for announcing a storm was coming or a war is starting or something like that. They kept adding bells as, as they got more money and they decided they could tune the bells to be uh, played in harmony. There's a tradition, especially in the north in the summer, to have Caroline recitals. It's, you, you listen outside, that's where you hear the Caroline. 